One of the most important and actually easiest things you can do to power up Sora is to level up your drive forms and summons. In fact, you need to level up these forms to do all of the things that this game has to offer and power up those growth abilities. While you can definitely level up your forms and summon gauge in the earlier parts of the game, I recommend really grinding out the later levels at endgame. You'll have access to areas, keyblades, and abilities that will make this much, much more efficient. Real quick, I need to tell you something that you may not be aware of and is absolutely critical to doing this quickly. Anytime you use a save point to go to the world map while in a drive form, your gauge will be completely refilled. This also happens anytime you go into an area where the party is standing around and you can talk to them. And trust me, this is going to be very helpful. You're welcome. Before we begin with the individual forms, let's look at a basic setup for Sora and how to get the most out of your grind. For Keyblade choices, I highly recommend equipping the Oathkeeper Keyblade on Sora himself to extend the time that you are actually in a drive form. You can get the Oathkeeper Keyblade by continuing the story until Sora returns to Twilight Town and finds out what has become of Kairi. This Keyblade has the Form Boost ability, which is incredibly helpful! So, let's jump into the level guide. Let's level up your first form, the very first form you can get in the game, Valor Form. And actually, this is the easiest. Valor Form is leveled up by gaining experience from smacking things with your Keyblade. Every hit equals one experience point. You'll want to use Valor Form whenever there's an enemy with a lot of health standing before you, but the fastest way to rack this up is on the Hidden Mushroom 13 boss that appears in Agrabah once you have completed the Agrabah story. First, you'll want to land at the Chasm of Challenges save point and head into the treasure room where you will undoubtedly find a floating mushroom, one that you will use to level two forms and your summon gauge, so get ready to spend some time here. Burst into Valor Form with weaker Keyblades equipped, and as many Combo Plus and Air Combo Plus abilities as possible, and press Triangle to immediately start smacking the crap out of him. Once your Drive Gauge gets low, head back to the save point and go to the world map, return back to the Mushroom, and repeat this as many times as necessary. It sounds monotonous, but it'll go by fairly quickly. You can check your status menu at any time to see how much more experience is needed to level up your Valor Form. Congrats on maxing Valor Form! Now, let's max out your summon level. This one is really easy, since you don't need to level individual summons, just the summon form. Summons gain experience every time a Drive Gauge is used while a summon is out. So, if you have a Gauge of 5 and Summon Stitch and just sit there, you'll gain 5 experience. You used 5 Gauges, which is slow, but there's a trick. Press triangle with the summon out to start the fight against the mushroom and let your gauge drop all the way down to the next number. For example, if you're at 5 gauges, drop to 4, and then quickly smack the mushroom with your keyblade or use Fyraga to get the meter to go back up to 5. Keep repeating this and making your drive tick quickly from 5 to 4 to 5 to 4 again, and you'll gain XP every single time it goes to 4. This means you can level your summons to max in about 10 minutes. You're welcome! Grats on the maxing of the summons. Now we are almost done with this big old mushroom. The next form that you can level here quickly is Limit Form, the new form introduced in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and received at the same time that you received the Oath Keeper. So, you know, make sure it's equipped. You gain experience with this form every time you use the finishing ability of a limit. This one proved to be the most tedious and boring for me since you'll run out of MP a whole lot. Anyways, go to the Chasm of Challenges after completing the story in Agrabah head to the treasure room to challenge that beautiful shroom. Jump into limit form with Oathkeeper equipped, press triangle to start the fight, immediately lock on, use L1 and circle to use Sonic Raid on the shroom, and keep mashing triangle until you get the finish reaction command on the mushroom. You'll be able to do this about twice for every full MP bar. Once your MP is low, head to the save point, press triangle, exit quickly to instantly refill your MP, and then repeat the process. When you get low on the drive gauge, about a full zero or so, you're going to want to head back to the world map to refill your gauge and repeat this process until you've maxed out limit form and gained that upgraded dodge roll for Sora. Grats. Now we are done with this mushroom and we can level our next form. Wisdom form. You gain one experience for every heartless enemy killed while in wisdom form, so make sure you're killing little low health heartless with a strong thundaga any chance you can. The fastest way to level this form up is at endgame. Pretty much as soon as you unlock Master Form, you'll want to head to the Timeless River World by going to the Throne Room in Disney Castle and using the big door to travel through time. Of course, equip the Oath Keeper once again and head to the window that is Mickey's house and enter. 
there will be a ton of shadows and soldiers here for you to wipe out with Thunderga and basic attacks. Once you clear this room, I tend to head to the Lilliput, uh, kill a few there, and then head back to Mickey's house to get them to respawn. Once your drive gauge is getting low, just go back through the big door to Disney Castle and it will instantly refill your gauge. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Keep doing this over and over until you've maxed out wisdom form. Now, real quick, you can also head to Agrabah and kill some Heartless there if you are at a point before unlocking Master Form, as there are a ton of little Heartless that spawn, and it's fairly quick to kill them. It's not the fastest way, but if you're at that point, might as well. Now that Wisdom Form is sitting at level 7, it's time to get Master Form maxed. You gain this form from reuniting with King Mickey and Hollow Bastion right before heading into the Space Paranoids world, and you gain experience with this form by collecting the Drive Orbs, those, those yellow balls that are dropped from enemies and structures throughout the game. There are a few very important things here to do before you grind out this form. First of all, you'll want to equip as many draw abilities as possible, as many jackpot abilities as possible, and you'll want to make sure that you equip the Drive Converter, which turns money into orbs, and the Sweet Memories Keyblade, which is obtained from 100 Acre Wood, which has yet another Drive Converter ability. This is going to make leveling this form incredibly fast. It is important to note that Drive Converter is obtained as an ability at level 41 if you chose the sword, 53 if you chose the shield, and 99 if you chose the rod. So having this Keyblade is really important, and it's pretty easy to get. Once you are set up and at Endgame and have access to the tower in Twilight Town, you'll want to take the train to the tower and scale the whole thing until you enter a room, the Moon Room, full of gambler nobodies. Enter Master Form, but don't kill any of these guys. Enter into a game with them using the reaction command Begin Game and select the circle button that appears in your menu. I like to sit at the third choice down and just wait for circle to hit, it seems to be the easiest. Learn how to win, because normally these guys drop a lot of money. But, with Drive Converter, it's all Drive Orbs, baby! If you find your Drive Gauge getting low, head to the very top of the tower and use the save point to return back to the world map and repeat as needed. Honestly, I didn't have to leave at all with Sweet Memories and Oathkeeper equipped. Now, this is fairly late game, so if you just unlocked Master Form and you want to level it up a bit, I recommend heading to Land of Dragons and beating up on the big Centaur Heartless, and then going to the checkpoint to bash all of those carts. It's inefficient, but easy enough to at least get a level or two. With Master Form maxed out, it's time to level our final form. Seriously, it's, it's called Final Form. This is Endgame, true Endgame, and isn't unlocked until you've taken on a certain boss in the world that never was. I actually have a video on how to get this form in my playthrough, so check it out in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This form gains experience every time you kill a nobody, so it's a really great thing that we receive it in a world full of nobodies, the world that never was. There's really only one efficient grinding spot for this form, and luckily it's also the best place to level up Sora. I recommend equipping Final Form with the Oathkeeper and Bond of Flame Keyblade. This will allow you to pretty much one-shot our nobody of choice, the Creeper. You will find a metric buttload, that's an actual unit of measurement, by heading to the world that never was and using the save point at Twilight's view and zooming past where you fought Zigbar. You'll encounter a samurai and some creepers, blow them up with Faraga, and continue until you are between these two ramps. Perfect. Creepers will spawn and spawn and then spawn some more. Keep grinding these guys out, but keep in mind, final form goes away in pretty rapidly. Be prepared to head back to Twilight's view to use the save point to warp to the world map at about one and a half gauges left. As always, keep grinding and get that final form finally maxed out. A little caveat to this. I use Final Form to level Sora's actual level by going through the entirety of this castle and using Fyraga on everything. It's quick, it gets Sora a lot of experience, and I recommend leveling Sora and Final Form at the same time. So unless you really need to quickly level up just Final Form, I recommend going through the entire castle and getting that sweet, sweet XP. I hope this guide helped you out in some capacity, and I hope you were able to get your drive forms to max level. You're gonna need them if you want to complete the hardest bosses in the game. If you enjoyed this video, may I recommend throwing a subscription my way so that you can check out my other guides that are coming in the pipeline, including a how to defeat Sephiroth, uh, as well as all of the data organization fights that will be coming. Thank you very much for watching, let me know if you guys enjoyed this, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.